This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at catalysts. Catalysts increase the rate of a chemical reaction by providing an alternative reaction pathway with lower activation energy. Here we have an energy level profile for an uncatalyzed reaction in red and a catalyzed reaction in blue. If we compare the size of the arrows for an uncatalyzed reaction in red and a catalyzed reaction in blue, we can see that the activation energy for a catalyzed reaction is lower. So catalysts alter the reaction mechanism, introducing a step with lower activation energy. A catalyst is not consumed during the course of the reaction. By lowering the activation energy, the rate constant is increased at the same temperature relative to the uncatalyzed reaction. Here we have a Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution curve. The green area represents the number of particles with energy greater than activation energy for an uncatalyzed reaction, and the shaded area represents the number of particles with energy greater than activation energy for a catalyzed reaction. A catalyst lowers the activation energy, therefore a greater proportion of molecules have energy greater than activation energy at the same temperature. Here we have the Arrhenius equation, and we're going to look at the fraction of molecules that have energy equal to or greater than the activation energy without a catalyst and with a catalyst. On the left, without a catalyst, we have an activation energy of 50,000 joules per mole. On the right, with a catalyst, we have an activation energy of 25,000 joules per mole. If we compare the calculated values for the uncatalyzed reaction on the left and the catalyzed reaction on the right, we can see at the same temperature, the catalyzed reaction has a higher fraction of molecules with energy equal to or greater than the activation energy, which increases the rate of reaction. Because the frequency factor A will be the same for each calculation, the catalyzed reaction will have a higher value for the rate constant K. Finally, we look at catalysts and reaction mechanisms. Here we have an equation for the iodination of propanone, which occurs in the presence of an acid catalyst. In a chemical reaction, a catalyst is neither a reactant nor a product, therefore it's written above the arrow in the chemical equation. Here we have a proposed reaction mechanism for this reaction. As you can see, of the two steps, step one is the slowest step. Therefore, it's the rate determining step. Because the hydrogen ion is in the slowest step, the rate of reaction depends on the concentration of the hydrogen ions. Therefore, it also appears in the rate expression. So to summarize, catalysts are involved in the rate determining step and they appear in the rate expression but they do not appear in the overall equation.